B grade actors committing street theater crimes don't understand just how terrible they are and need a new hobby. All right. They are terrible at their job and they need to find something else to do. When have you ever seen someone behave so terribly? And I don't mean as a judge of character when I mean when I say terrible. I mean that this person is just behaving terribly. Their acting is terrible. All right. They don't even look like they've been using their body for long. It looks like they've only been using their body for about a, a, half, a, a half a day. They don't even have a grips on what, uh, uh, how a, pers- a person carries themselves or operates. And you can tell that this could possibly be an interdimensional demonic entity hopping through time and space, warping time and energy through other people's negativity. All right, through other people's anger and frustration. So they're B grade actors. Some would call them NPCs or meat suits, but I like to call them B grade actors because they are committing crimes such as street theater, trying to act in a way to where they're undetected by the people around them. So that way, only highly spiritually intuitive people can make sense of what is actually happening or taking place. And it takes someone with a specific type of intelligence to be able to see what is actually going on before them or in front of them. And when you're able to tell, but others around you cannot, it makes their job all that much easier and more fun for them because they're sadistic personality type of people. They have a sadistic personality. They're narcissistic in nature and narcissistic hive-minded individuals, people that think about what they do to other people and how it makes them feel versus what they're actually doing to other people and how it's causing them to feel. They could care less about that. As long as they're able to get their jollies, get their rocks off, get their supply, they will affect you in any kind of way that they need to. But they're B grade actors and they don't realize that they're doing a horrible job at trying to come off as someone that is just doing something that no one else can see. They're lucky that these people are asleep Otherwise, everyone would be able to spot them out like it was no problem at all. But the fact that they're asleep is the reason why your enemies are able to get this type of behavior off. Because everybody else is unaware of it and they can't see it. They're unaware of what's happening. They're only focused on what's going on in their own world, in their own life. You'll even have people gaslight you while you're out in public. I'm just in my own world. These people can't even concentrate to save their life. They can't pay attention to themselves to save their life. You're supposed to be in your own world. If I'm not interacting with you, if you're not interacting with anyone, who the hell else's world are you supposed to be in? If you're not interacting with them or speaking to them or talking to them, who in the hell else's world are you supposed to be in? They're mad that they're infatuated with what they see before them, which is you. They're mad that they're consumed 100% energetically 
and mentally with what they see, which is you. They're upset that they can't get their focus and attention off of what's before them, which is you. They're not the main character in their own movie because they're choosing not to be. It's not your fault you've made yourself the main character in your own movie. Everybody else is supposed to do the same thing. If they don't, you have no control over that. If they choose to be a B-grade actor committing a street theater crime, because that's where they want to fall in line, that's what they choose to do. That's what they choose to be. There's nothing we can do about that except adore what they have to try to put us through or what they want to put us through or what they're told or paid to put us through. So they are trying to basically make it seem like they're doing nothing while you can see that they're most definitely doing something. If you can see it and other people can't, that doesn't mean it's not true. Other people don't usually see things that other people see, especially people who are highly spiritually in tuned with what is happening around them. If you resonate with my videos, you're in tune with what is going on around you spiritually. And not everyone can see that. Not everyone is going to see that. You're going to be one out of many who can spiritually see what is happening around them. And you can't talk to it. You can't talk to other people around you about it because they're asleep. They're not going to know what you're talking about. Most likely they have parasites. They're demonically possessed and they may not even know it. And they may not even be aware of it. You might be the only one that can see the demons on them and not even themselves. But they need to find something else to do because it's obvious to you. You can see through it. You're starting to, to arm yourself spiritually. You're starting to stay prayed up more, talk to God more, stay in your prayer closet more, read your Bible more. Anything that you can do to put some space between them and you, you're doing that. They may try to cause you some type of stress because of the things that they do on the on the day-to-day -day basis the harassment everything they have to try to do to you so that way they can get paid or you know get whatever type of, of get whatever it is that they get for bothering you some of them it's money some of them it's a place to stay some of them it's you know clothes whatever they give these people all right whatever they're giving them you don't know what it is that they they have orchestrated or hooked up all right but mostly it's, it's of the underworld you have a lot of people who are operating on a lower frequency you want to talk about uh, electronic low frequencies or ELF waves or ELF waves? What about ELF people? Extremely, you know, you want to talk about extremely low frequencies. What about extremely low frequency people? You want to talk about some ELF waves? Some of these people are extremely low frequency weapons. All right, some of these people all have a have a weaponized negative mindset. All right, some of these people have a, a negative weaponized way of being. As soon as they come around you, you just feel low. Their energy just drags you to the ground. And they're a B actor on top of that, not even the main character in their own life trying to commit some street theater, trying to make it seem like they're doing something, but they're, I mean, trying to make it seem like they're not doing something, but they are. I done seen some of the most oddest things out in the street when it comes to the street theater. 
but they're B-grade actors, all right? And they're committing crimes. They don't know how terrible they are, but they're going to find out today. They're awful at acting. They stink. They suck. They're horrible. Trying to pass off what they're doing as nothing. But you can see it. With the little corny old narcissistic stare that they have. With the little with the little uh, weirdo creepy smile attached to it. Signifying that they're a part of the bad news bears. Signifying that they're a part of the hive. Signifying that they're a part of the of the, the I have no life organization. All right, they have absolutely no life at all because if they did, they'd be living it. They think that harassing you is a life. They think committing crimes against you, harassing you, effing with you, they think that's living life because they're already low vibrational. And then on top of that, it's like giving Beavis and Butthead instructions. <laughs> it's going to laugh and do what you tell them to do. We're going to get paid. <laughs> they just laugh and do what, what you tell them to do. Be great actors. All right. Their street theater is whack. They're whack. Their ideas uh, 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 that they come up with to try to uh, bait you or trigger you are whack and getting whacker. They need to find something else to do. They don't know how bad they look. They look bad out here. They look horrible out here. They look terrible out here. All because they feel some type of way towards a person like yourself. They've tried countless ways to destroy you, countless ways to outdo you, countless ways to stress you out, countless ways to make you be worried. They don't realize that they're better off finding something else to do. They don't realize that they've wasted so much time. All right. They've wasted time. They think they, they could be, you know, working at a store with, with, with what they're getting paid. They may not have a job with what they do, but with the amount of work that they're doing and all the, the energy and resources being wasted, they might as well go get a job or something. But some of them are being paid. Some of them are getting incentives. Some of them really aren't getting much at all. Some of them, whatever they get is gone as soon as they get it. Fueling people with addictions and, and certain problems. And they're not going to get help. They're being controlled by people telling them what to do. I'll help you if you do this. Be great actors people that don't want to get up, people that don't want to improve, people that don't want to change their ways. But they rather cause you to fall, cause you to be like them, cause you to fall into the same traps, cause you to take yourself out even or take them out. They don't tell them that you might possibly be murked by this person because of all the damage and, and, and trauma that you're putting them through. They don't tell them that. But that's also a possibility that somebody may end up taking you out because of what you're doing to them. They obviously don't like it. They obviously would want it to stop. It's obviously something that they wouldn't want to happen to them. But while, why they would do it to someone else, only God knows. Why they think it's okay to behave like that to other people, only God knows. They don't understand just how terrible of a job they're doing, number one. 
Their acting skills are horrible. You can tell who they are from a mile away. They think they're good at what they do. They think they're actually getting off with what they're doing. They think that no one can see, especially not you. But you see right through it like Saran Wrap. You see right through it like a clear glass window. You see right through it. They think they're hiding something. They can't get it past you. You're able to, to, to tell that they're phony baloney. They're phony, they're phony, phony baloney. That's not the real one, but they're phony as hell. All right? B-grade actors. And they're committing crimes. All right? Street theater is a crime. And it's like, you might not be able to prove it, but guess what? Universal law is going to take care of them. The checks and balances of life are going to take care of them. It's just the way life operates. You don't get to do bad to people without there being a, a repercussion for what you do. You do bad, you do bad to people, you're going to get that back. All right. Even though they're terrible at their job, guess what? They're still going to get it. Because they honestly looked at the situation and were like, you know what? We can we can get this off. No one's going to be able to tell what we're up to. We can treat people however we want and get away with it. And no one's going to be able to tell. No one's going to catch us. We're not touching this person. We're not actually bothering this person. If we don't lay a finger on them, how are they going to know that we're being corrupt? How are they going to know that we're torturing this person or, or, or dealing with this person in a way that we shouldn't? This stuff right here is going over people's heads left and right. And they're unable to tell, but you are. And not only are you able to tell, you're able to see when it's happening to you. These people need to find something else to do, but will they? Most likely not, because they, they gain some type of satisfaction out of how they treat others. They gain some type of satisfaction out of the fact that it's happening to you and not them. They gain some type of satisfaction out of the fact that they found a new game that they get to play. It makes them feel powerful, makes them feel accomplished, makes them feel fulfilled, makes them feel like they're doing something when they're not doing anything at all and weren't up to anything up to this point. This behavior gives people something to do when they have nothing to do. And it's a shame that people are so bored that they allow their mind to become the devil's workshop. And they allow themselves to become corrupt with all types of wicked acts and deeds because they feel the need to behave this way because that's what they're being told to do. Police might come to them. Random strangers might come to them. Councils, neighbors, family, who knows who's coming to people and telling them, how to behave towards you and why. But the fact that they think this is okay to continuously repeat a, a negative act aimed towards another person's mind is a whole nother video. But this is something that they think is okay. It's like walking up to someone with a, a, a deep cut and you, you, you traveling with spices and, and pouring salt into it because you could. Just because you could do it doesn't mean you should do it. The person's obviously in pain and you see that they're hurting and you're going to pour salt into their wound and make it harder for them to heal and put this person in more pain or more danger or, or, or more suffering rather. And they think it's the sadistic people think it's okay to watch you suffer. They think it's okay to play with your suffering and watch you go through hell on earth. They feel that you deserve it with all this God in your life 
and with all the good things that you represent, they feel that you should be put through it. But it's just a it's a it's a persecution for you. All right, it's a, it's a it's a form of persecuting you. But it's only going to put you on to bigger and better things. Because you know that you're being broken down to be made in, into a, something bigger first to be prepared for something better to get something that will suit you even more than what you already have because you know what you have is good but you know there's better out there for you and these B grade actors these haters are here to let you know that you're on your way towards what's better you're on your way towards what's out there for you because they're starting to wake up and feel the need to have to stop you. They're starting to wake up and feel the need to have to stop you from reaching a goal, getting to where you, you're trying to get. They have to do things around you to try to make you veer off of that course. This person is focused. This person is headed towards success. We have to take them away from that any way we can by acting weird, by behaving strange, by doing street theater, committing crimes, because it's all they know. They panic when they see someone like you get ready to take the stage, get ready to take their throne, get ready to take their crown and put it on. They, they scurry in a hurry. All right, they fear you getting into a position of power. So regardless of how terrible their act might be, they're still B-grade level actors. They're trying to take your spot, trying to replace you in your own movie. And you better not let them do it. They act like they're not doing what they're doing, but it's just a part of the game. It's just another distraction. You don't have to prove whether they're doing what they're doing or not. When you see it, just know that it's real, but it's real fake because the people that are doing it are even faker. So don't go trying to get other people to see it or to, to make other people aware of it or try to contact authorities. Because they're so terrible at their job that not anybody else can tell, unfortunately, except for you. You're a lot smarter than people want to give you credit for. You're aware of certain things other people don't pick up on. Other people just breeze by or or just, you know, look over. They don't pay attention to detail like you. All you do is pay attention to detail. All you do is constantly make yourself aware of what's in front of you or what's going on around you. Because that's what you need to be doing. You need to be aware of what's taking place around you. You need to be on the up and up, you know, of your surroundings. So all they're doing is sharpening your skills. All they're doing is making you more aware. All they're doing is making you hyper focus on your surroundings, make you more attent to your surroundings. So they thought that they were harming you and doing bad things to you and destroying you and causing you to have mental breakdowns. But 
when you get through a mental breakdown, even though you go through one, when you get through it, you end up coming back stronger or tougher. So tough that you don't react the same way the next time. So they can keep going or they can keep trying, but they're not going to get the result they want. Because that's not the way that this game is played. They think it's going to end up going their way, but it ends up going your way. You end up being the one that ends up in control over the long run. That's just the way the game goes. They play with you and keep playing with you up until the point that it's not fun playing with you anymore. You end up outsmarting them eventually and outgrowing their tactics, their lame old tactics. And they end up showing up to a party that they're uninvited to. So when they get there, they're not the person that's supposed to, they're not the person who the surprise party's for. So when they get there, there's no reaction. When the person who shows up to the party that's supposed to be there, (sighs) when the person that shows up that, you know, is not the person who's intended for the party, they're like, okay, where's the person that the surprise party's for? Where's the person that the party's actually for? And that's how you show up every time you see people like this. You treat them like the person who's Who's the, who the party isn't for. They get no reaction. They get no fun out of you. No noise, no nothing, no expression. No excitement, nothing. No, no nothing, no energy, no liveliness, nothing. All right? Because they're bad actors. And bad actors get no response. Not even booed off stage. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Smash the share button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.